I think uh, when I the very first time I checked the enchants, we really couldn't do anything. There wasn't anything there. Oh, okay. This is where the game is. Okay. Hey guys, and welcome to Dungeon Quest with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you really like the episode, tell a friend. This has been a game that was suggested by a subscriber, and uh, I played it for all of maybe 10 minutes, <laughs> and it actually seems like a pretty fun game. Sounds like they're going to be uh, making a very large game, hopefully. As you guys can see, I'm only level 4 here, um, and I'm just going to go over some really quick things. So when you first start in the game, uh, I guess like any other role-playing game, you're kind of looking for stores to buy weapons from because you do start with a little bit of gold. I do believe that your inventory, you automatically start with certain items like a sword, an axe, a wand, and a taunt, I believe it is. And you can use those, you put them down here in your gear slots or your hotbar. And then you get skill points as you level up. So I'm not 100% sure what all is involved in this game. I know that uh, you run dungeons and at the moment, uh, we're just pretty much being a mage. <laughs> I probably should have a better weapon, uh, but I do like our little wand here. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed that uh, we're not using my avatar, my real avatar. Uh, you can also get enchants eventually, and then you can get upgrades. So you can get upgrades from this guy here. You can sell items over there, and you can get enchants from the wizard over here. As for that, I'm not 100% sure about quests or anything like that, but it is what it is, and we'll jump in and start playing the game. So the easiest way, right off the bat, as soon as you log in, or if you're level 1, if there are items in your inventory, put them in your uh, sl uh, respective spots, and then just hit play here. As you guys can see, I have iron armor at the moment. Uh, I got that the last on my last boss or whatever. But anyways, uh, you can click join a dungeon. Uh, it doesn't really look like there's level 50 plus. Wow. Not many dungeons uh, going on here, which is kind of odd. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's join that one. I don't even know what hardcore is. Like, if you die, you don't come back. I'm not 100% sure. Usually it doesn't take this long to actually get into a game. Huh. Oh, there we go. So, I've only ever seen this one... Yeah, this uh, this dungeon. I think there might be a couple others. Not 100% sure, though. Uh, we might as well click start, right? All right, let's do this. So we can uh, cast fireballs, and I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it must be... Casting the fireballs is, like, super hard. Uh-oh. <laughs> At the very beginning here. Uh, this guy has more life than us. Yeah, we leveled up, <laughs> but uh, to actually, I guess, uh, what is it, aiming with the fireballs is difficult, but definitely worth it because they do an AOE attack. Where's our, uh, there he is, I was to say, where's the other guy that's, so uh, when you are level one, obviously you don't do too much damage, but luckily you can, you I guess you leech the experience off your friends that are completing the quest, so you can actually just uh, run by them, and even if you can't deal deal any damage, you can still win. <laughs> but yeah, we definitely need to get a better weapon. I don't know if the spells get any better. You can uh, with the we'll take a look at it. Uh, we did level up, right? So we'll take a look at our skill points. Um, our spell power does go up, but I don't know if, like, the spells change any. I haven't really seen any other spells other than this fireball, so... Boom. A little difficult to aim. Well, it is aim hard to aim with it. I think that's why you kind of need both. You need a weapon and... Oh, wow, this... So I was wrong. This, uh... This dungeon is a lot different than the one I've seen before. Maybe because it's hardcore? I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't know why these guys keep running away.
Use my wand to do one damage. Yeah. Ooh, we're almost we're at one life right now, so we're gonna hold back. Maybe it's uh maybe it's just that you don't regen any life here. If that's the case, then yeah, we're in trouble. <laughs> Doesn't look like I'm regening any life. Ugh. There we go. We'll just hang back. Oh, completely missed that one. Are they following me or him? They're following me. Oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> so let's see if we respawn. I don't think we will. No, we only get a watch. All right, so while these guys are doing this, we'll take a look here. Oh, we still get experience for watching. That's actually really cool. So as you guys can see, I have two skill points available to us. Uh, I have two into spell power, one into stamina. And then, yeah, pretty much that. So we might as well go two more into spell power. And now they are fighting the boss. Alright, so we got kicked out of that one at the very end there. Uh, must have lost connection. Hopefully, yes. Alright, so the blue wizard hat, physical power plus one, spell pl power plus five, and health is plus 20. Requires, and apparently we can do uh, two upgrades on it, but because... There we go. For some reason it wasn't letting us. Uh, spell power, so this one is good for spell power is two, health is 72, and then physical is two. All right, well, we'll do that. And actually, while we're here, let's reset. Ooh, it requires gold. Yeah, sure, we'll reset everything here. And we'll put one point into stamina just to make sure. So stamina does increase life. And then... Yeah, we're gonna go with four into spell power. So we will uh, also sell that armor that we don't need anymore. Actually, you know what? We'll keep it around just in case we decide to go some other way uh in the upgrade spot okay so it has to be in your inventory in order to upgrade it hey like this gear why can't i drag this out there we go you don't have enough gold okay that's fine so oh i can't remember i think we had four spell power so for two upgrades and one up to, up to six not uh all that fantastic but it will help and yeah, obviously, I, like I said, you can sell over there. It looks like there's something here, but maybe you need to be a higher level to actually do anything. Somebody's out in the water there. As you guys can see, there's this blue circle. Let's see, if we fall off. Oh, you can swim underwater. That's actually pretty awesome. Uh, it looks like there's. Oh. Okay, so I went to the edge of the world. <laughs> Create a dungeon. Oh, there, okay, there's Winter Outpost. Easy. Required level 33. Required level 1. Medium. Level 6. Hard is level 12. What are we... Alright, let's do that. Great lobby. So, I guess you must be able to go uh, solo. Hey, Joseph is here. <laughs> Don't have the the chat menu on, so obviously we're not going to be able to see. Uh, actually, when we get in the dungeon, maybe we'll see. All right, let's just start. We got we got Joseph. That's all we need, right? <laughs> and he's level thirty nine, so he's definitely going to tank it for us. I'm sure of it. There we go. It took a second. Uh, ooh, look at Joseph, eh? That's a cool looking sword. Hmm. I don't know. There's something going on with the the game at the moment, so we'll go start. And hopefully, he catches up with us. I'm sure he will. Got him so much life. I like how we run like we're so serious. Boom! Really haven't noticed too much addition to our uh, spell damage here. Like, it doesn't seem to be, like, doing a crazy amount of damage where it's... It still seems like it's two shots. We pretty much kill these guys. There 
And then our our little wand only does like five damage. Uh oh. Come on, Joseph, we need you. <laughs> I yeah, I'm sure that he's probably uh glitched out like I did for a second there. I, I had to well, I did click reset my character and then when I resetted my character it actually brought us into the dungeon here, so it's not a hundred percent yet. Alright. And obviously you have a clock for how long you have until... Oh, there's Joseph. But now he's tanking. All right, I'm not sure what's going on, but yeah, we've been disconnected both times when it's supposed to be teleporting us back to our world. The blue wizard robes, plus three, 19 to health. Not as good as the blue wizard robes that we have on, so obviously we're not going to keep it. Uh, we'll run over here and sell it, because for sure that we don't need. Look at the swords, man. Hmm, why can't I buy stuff? Sell that item? Yes. Uh, trade request. That. Pretty sure I accepted the trade request. I didn't even know you could actually trade in this game. So... Your offer. Let's give him the iron armor. No. <laughs> what is this? Redemption. Cast a healing circle around you with heals you and your teammates. Heals with every spell power. Yeah. Now we have a sword. We can get rid of our wand. Except. Oh, what? A shovel? A holy grail. Physical damage, 19. Spell power, 99. What? Innovate. Uh, your magic spells do 100% more damage for 8 seconds. Sell for $2,000. Wow. Okay. Getting, we're getting geared up here. <laughs> wow, he's got a lot of stuff. Physical, spell power, 3. Red knight armor. Guardian armor. Except. Oh, it even counts it down, so you can cancel it, hey? That is awesome. What? You are not high enough level to equip. Uh, it requires level 15. Level 15. Iron armor we already have. It requires level 1. Redemption. So... So double-clicking on it is pretty much the easiest thing to do. Oh, wait. Just forgot to give us something. What did he forget? We have to get to level 15, man. And then level 32. I want this. Holy grail. Oh, and we have to add points, too. What is this? Whirlwind. Spin at high speeds, hitting everything around you. Scales with physical damage. I am so lost, man. So lost. As to what we're supposed to do. Can't use... <laughs> use our wand with whirlwind. Uh, scales with physical damage. Okay, so you put those... Alright. Makes sense. Okay, so we have to get to level 32. 
Alright, so I've gotten a couple levels. We need a lot more. But I did just get a couple of things from uh, beating one of the bosses. <laughs> we got an apprentice staff of uh, 16 spell power and 2 physical damage. Way better than our novice one that we have here. So we'll put that on. And then we did get a blue fireball. Cast a hot blue fireball that explodes on hit, uh, hit dealing damage to all nearby enemies. I think blue is probably better than red, right? Let's see. Yeah, looks like an ice ball. Ooh, what's this VIP player? Oh, okay. Must be a store. No. Maybe we should wander around a little bit. Maybe there's something I'm missing here. How do you become a VIP player? Usually you have to purchase stuff for that, right? Like a, a game pass? Hmm. Let's go over to the enchants too. Let's see what's what that's all about. I think uh, when I the very first time I checked the enchants, we really couldn't do anything. There wasn't anything there. Oh, okay. This is where the game is. Okay. No, I'm good. We don't need any of that. And Joseph is back. Ooh, he's... Okay, whatever that is. Looks like health. <laughs> Alright, finally, we're level... Well, we just passed level 15. We're level 16 now. So, let's go like this. We need some more life. I did attach or equip our new guardian armor, which is uh, 6 to uh, physical power, 7 to spell power, and 224 health. Along with the helmet, which is 10 uh, physical power, 10 spell power, and 265 life. And then from the boss of that uh, that dungeon, we got this sword, the steel ser serrated sword, which is 36 physical damage, 7 to spell power. And I think that's it for the moment that we can actually equip. Yeah. Let's run over to where are the upgrades and let's see if we can't get this sword. Uh, what's the 16 spell power on this guy? What can we do here? Okay. Uh, oh yeah, we have to take it out of our, uh, inventory. Okay. You need to leave me alone. There we go. Go gear. No. Now, go here. And let's upgrade the spell power on it. So it starts at 7. We have plenty of, uh, money, so... Max out at 16, which is the exact same as the apprentice staff, but we have physical damage now, right? So I'm gonna put in an E slot. You cannot swap an ability while it is on cooldown. Oh, okay. And there we go. All right, so let's uh, see what we can do with the serrated edge, or serrated blade, and our whirlwind. That's gonna be actually pretty cool. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can join a dungeon. Now, of course, it's going to be a little bit different for us because we are all about spell power, right? Um, in our skills, we've maxed, or we haven't maxed, we've been putting most of our points into spell power and then some into stamina. So I don't expect us to do a crazy amount of physical damage.
So every time you come out of the dungeon, it reloads like this. I think it's because it puts you in a new server every time you come level or dungeon. It puts you in a new server. So let's check out that new armor. Mercenary armor, 9464. What did I say? 9464? It's definitely not as good as this armor. So we're going to have to keep our guardian armor. Uh, we can probably get rid of some of this stuff. So let's go sell some of this. Let's tell you how much damage you're doing. Okay, yeah. 55, 54. Actually, let's... Uh, put that and see if we can't... Like I would stop hitting it, we could tell, maybe. Just trying to see what the fireball... Looks like the fireball does multiple attacks, but it, yeah, it says it's doing like 180 or something like that. So we'll sell that. Yes. Robes. Sell that. Yes. Iron armor. We definitely don't need that anymore. Uh, wizard's hat. We can get rid of that. The elementalist hood. I think we're wearing that. Novice helmet. Yeah, we'll, we'll sell that. Same with bronze dagger i don't know where that or it saw that but anyways there and spike club yeah we'll get rid of that too oh and we can get rid of this wand look at us we're making a lot of money now now they wait until we get the holy grail we need to be level 32 for both of these but yeah that's the dungeon quest and so far i really like this game it's very interesting uh, we definitely need to get up to higher levels i don't know what most of these people are 48 33 so we'll see what the max level is and point into stamina. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.